Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in welcoming Iris Boschard of Osienko, sponsor of the 2018 Fabian Cousteau Blue Award. Good evening, everyone. We at Oceanco, together with all of you, our colleagues in the industry, have a responsibility to preserve the world's oceans. And achieving this, this takes commitment and vision from all of us involved in building and operating super yachts. At Oceanco, we've been fortunate enough to be able to work together with a couple of owners who share this vision with us such as the owners of the sailing yacht Black Pearl and the 109-meter hybrid Y718. Visions like these inspire us all to improve and to start developing yachts that are much more respectful to our oceans. But we are not there yet. And therefore, we are honored to once again sponsor the Fabian Gusto Blue Award. I would like to welcome on stage Mr. F Fabian Cousteau himself. Ah, uh, Monsieur, Madame, bonsoir. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Happy Halloween. My uh, six-year-old uh, this evening, as I was getting dressed in this outfit, was asking what Halloween party I was going to, and I said, one where everyone was dressing as penguins. <laughs> <laughs> it's my absolute honor uh, and pleasure to be amongst all of you this evening. Thank you, Ocean Co. Thank you, ISS. And most importantly, thanks to all of you for making this award possible. The ocean is truly a, a beautiful place, and this is what unites all of us here tonight. It is a, a place of majesty, of peace, of thrills, and one that drives not only the super yachting industry, but sailors in all of us. And not only is it a beautiful place, but it's also our, our, our life support system. It's something that we very often overlook when we see it as a beautiful place. It's a place that allows us to take our every other breath. Yes, quite literally, that 99% of our planet's living space literally generates enough oxygen for us to breathe at least every 50 to 60% of the time. But to this day, we still treat it as an endless resource in a garbage can, yet we dive, we, we, we're in the United States, so I'll say it in pounds, we dump over one million pounds of plastic in our ocean every day. We have extracted over 60% of our world's total fish stocks. We are creating a place that is not representative of our love and our passion for this ocean that we love and cherish in this industry. It's one that we need to change our direction, that we have uh, unfortunately not done so well enough to this day. And so it's an honor for me to be able to present tonight's Fabian Cousteau Blue Ocean Award at the ISS. And it is a privilege to be amongst all of you, leaders of industry, powerful people, not only financially, but also with your drive, with your network, with your possibilities. My grandfather used to say, only the impossible missions succeed. And this embodies the soul of what really is a leader, someone that takes a bold step 
beyond the comforts, beyond the known, beyond the status quo, to take that next step and break the barriers of the word impossible. And it's with this that I'd like to introduce the video to announce the Fabian Cousteau Blue Award winner. So tonight it is my privilege and honor to announce Rev Ocean as the Fabian Cousteau ISS Blue Award winner. Not only is it the uh, creator of the largest marine research vessel of almost 600 feet, 186 meters long, but it is also an ocean brain trust and one that will be a network for all of the data gathering of the scientists and institutions around the world that will be able to come together in a network for us to be able to build on and create a better future for our ocean planet. So with that said, I would love to invite uh, the uh, CFO, Martin Moen and Tony uh, Naimoen, the marketing director on behalf of the founder, Shell Ingeroke of Rev Ocean to come up and enjoy the Fabian Cousteau Blue Award. Thank you. And firstly, thank you to ISS and Mr. Cousteau for this award. And at the same time, <coughs> recognizing the truly ambitious project we started in Rev Ocean. Our vision is to come up with concrete solutions to the problems that we see in the oceans today. And we'll do so through different tools, as you just saw. Uh, one of the world's largest research and expeditions vessel, the World Ocean Headquarters, and also the Ocean Data Platform. Secondly, I would like to thank uh, our partners, our suppliers, and our colleagues for working hard every day to make this vision come true. And finally, I would like to thank, thank our owner, Mr. Schelling Röcke, for devoting time, money, and effort every day to make this come true. Without Schelling Röcke, Revolution would never be. So thank you. So, uh, the good news is we're now here at our...